I can imagine how difficult this must have been for Adam Copeland to be away from the ring since 2011, you know. I think he was gone for nine, was it nine years? Throughout those, throughout those years, he just was yearning to get back in that ring. So just some things we just hate to let go because we cherish it in our hearts. It's a part of us. I know that people were excited when he returned. I, I was happy to see him too. Despite me being against him returning, period. He looked good. Um, during that Royal Rumble, it was a nice surprise. We was anticipating him that he was going to make it, you know. But we didn't know for sure. That's the thing. And then that Monday Night Raw, that following day, or the following night, rather. I mean... I'm glad he didn't just break down and break down in tears because you can see he was so happy to be there. He was feeling the crowd. He didn't experience that nine years. So. It's amazing. I know it's a wonderful feeling nine years away from the ring and gets back and he hears the crowd he's walking down the aisle and I just know it just I, I, I think it was like indescribable how he felt you could see in his face he was just man he just want it was like welcome back and all that you welcome home yeah they said welcome home and it was I, I was even I was getting uh kind of emotional watching it. I was like wow man but he looked good though, you know, but that doesn't mean that he should be coming back though. Let's get let's go let's go over these fucking notes. <sighs> now, this is a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt. Edge is rumored to only have five, five matches for 2020. Now it's four because of the Royal Rumble. He was the 21st entrant. Now, the reason for his retirement was, was uh, he went to see the doctor, actually. He was experiencing uh, numbness and uncontrollable trembling, trembling in his arms and hands. Wow. The doctor told him to hang up the boots, retire. And that's what he did, reluctantly. I mean, grudgingly, begrudging, what you want to call it. I say reluctantly, that's a better word. <laughs> so he, he walked away. You know, he was looking out for his health. He said, he pretty much said if he kept going, he might end up in a wheelchair, you know. He doesn't want to end up in no wheelchair. And who does, right? Unless you're fucking insane. Um, a full-time comeback is almost... Certainly is not in the cards. I repeat, a full time comeback is almost certainly not in the cards. PWI's insider Mike Johnson, related to The Rock, <laughs> reports that Edge might do a few matches on major. Events. Now, what, inter what what really interests me about this is because, I mean, what interests me about this is um, is that he's not gonna be wrestling like on a regular basis in that ring. So it leads me to believe that he should not be returning to the ring at all. I'm just gonna say it. He's already, I mean, he looks good. Doesn't mean he's in shape to be wrestling at night after night, which he's not. He's like, what, 46 years old? But it doesn't matter. He has an injury, you know? 
It also makes me wonder, is he returning against the doctor's will? You know. I mean, as we know you lost your mom. That must be hard on you, man. But come on. Pretty sure she wouldn't want you to end up in a wheelchair, dude. I'm, I'm afraid for him. I'm afraid that the next injury will be his last. Not that he's going to die, that he's going to end up in a fucking wheelchair. Long ago, in the summer, I made a video. It was entitled, Why Edge Why? And I was pretty much saying he should stay out the ring. He shouldn't return. And I still stand by that. I understand wanting to get back into the game, you know. But I just don't think he's healthy enough to be wrestling. That's why he's doing limited matches anyway. What does that tell you? He shouldn't be getting back in the ring. So that's my uh, stance on that. So, I mean, I don't know. It's like, they said he was medically cleared and all that shit. I don't think so. I mean, as a, I mean, again, he does look good. Um, I know that he really wants to come back, but the limited matches should speak volumes to us. That should make us wonder. Go, hmm. Okay, he was injured by Randy Orton. They took him off the. They ridden him off. He might not come back until WrestleMania, just like it says. Um, it's all uh, a full time comeback is almost certainly not in the cards. Hmm. <sighs> well, you can give the excuse oh, he's old now. No, he's injured, he's taking a risk on his health. He's taking the risk on his body by getting back in the ring. And yes, I will I will I will be glad I will glad I will take the mantle of me being crazy that I'm wrong, that I'm incorrect, Edge is in better shape than I'm that I can imagine. I can accept that I'm wrong. I want to be wrong for Adam Copeland. I want to be wrong because I know that man wants to come back. I know he's passionate. But you can't blame me for thinking otherwise, that he's not ready, that he should stay out of the ring, period. So that's my take on Edge. At the end of the day, he's a grown ass man. Decision is his. But if he asks me, I say, Adam. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. With that being said, this is why Crumble's on. Signing out. Peace and love.